क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स we have seen previously what do you mean by the limited capacity method and the analysis now let us solve problem based on the same let us read a problem which is based on the limited capacity method this is a third type of problem let us read a problem a metal rod of 10 mm diameter 1 meter long originally at 400 degrees celsius is suddenly dipped in oil at 100 degrees celsius for which the convective heat transfer coefficient is 250 watt per meter square kelvin verify whether the lumped heat capacity analysis is applicable if yes using it determine the time required to cool the rod to 200 degrees celsius derive the equation that may be used second if no state the method that you will adopt for solving this problem they have given us that the density of the oil as 8000 kg per meter cube the value of cp is 460 joule per kg kelvin the value of k they have given is 70 watt per meter kelvin so let us try and understand what they have given they have given it's a basically a problem of quenching method basically in a quenching what we do we increase the temperature of a subject or a body at elevated temperature and suddenly cool it so that is what they have done they have taken a rod of 10 meter diameter and they have raised the temperature of the rod at 400 degrees celsius and suddenly cool it by placing it in a oil at 100 degrees celsius and they are asking us to find the time required for the rod to reach 200 degrees celsius and before this if they are asking us to find out if the limited capacity analysis is applicable or not if yes then solve this problem if no then what to do so let us start solving the given problem so let us write down the things that they have given they have taken a rod and they have placed this rod inside a oil this is a oil and this is a metal rod so let us say the rod dimensions are d the value of k that is the thermal conductive rod is k h is the heat transfer coefficient of the oil and t infinity is the temperature of the oil which is surrounds the rod then the rod initial temperature they have given is 400 degrees celsius the length of the rod is 1 meter and the diameter they have given is 10 mm similarly the heat transfer coefficient that is the h for the oil is 250 watt per meter square kelvin now with the help of this information they are asking us that if the lumped heat capacity analysis can be applicable that can be found out by finding the value of biot number so this is the first thing that find the biot number and in the second case they are asking us that if it is cooled to let's say 200 degree celsius then what is the time required for this cooling so they are asking us what is the time so let us start attempting a given problem the first thing is finding the biot number we know biot number can be given as h l upon k so in this case the value of lc which is given as the volume upon area in this case the lc that we are getting is the r by 2 and if i substitute the same the numbers we are having biot number as hl upon k which is 250 into 5 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 so we have given the diameter as 10 mm so the radius will always become 5 and we have converted mm into meter the thermal conductivity that they have given is 70 
now this they have given at the end so if i solve this the biot number that we are getting is 8.9 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this is obviously less than 0.1 as the biot number is less than 0.1 we can say that the lumped heat capacity method is applicable as we have found that the lumped heat capacity method is applicable we can straight away use the formula that is t minus t infinity upon t i minus t infinity is equal to e raised to minus h a upon rho c v into t now again if i substitute all the numbers i shall easily get the time over here so let us put the numbers so the temperature that they're asking is 200 and the surrounding temperature of the oil was 100 is what they are given and the initial temperature is 400 and obviously the surrounding is 100 this is equal to e raised to minus now the value of h that they are given is 250 multiplied by the area by volume we can consider this as 2 by r so we can write this 2 over here the density they have given is 8000 and the value of cp is 460 multiplied by the radius that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 this into time t now if i take the log of every term i shall have ln of 100 by 300 is equal to minus 250 into 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon 8000 into 460 sorry this becomes plus multiply by 5 so if i obviously solve this i can easily find the time which comes around 40.24 seconds now this is the first part where they are asking if the lumped heat capacity analysis is applicable then we can go for the calculation and we can find the time required for the rod to be cooled till 200 degrees celsius if it were it was not applicable then what we should have done then we should have went for the Hessler chart but since the biot number was less than 0.1 we need not really have to go for the Hessler chart the Hessler chart will only come into picture if the biot number of a given problem is more than 0.1 now as you can see in this problem they had asked us to find out the time required to cool the rod to 200 degrees celsius which we have found at around 40 seconds and the second case is obviously not applicable because the lumped heat capacity was verified now that is it in this problem in this problem also we have tried to apply the lumped heat capacity analysis in a quenching process thank you for watching this video Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.